So yeah, this one uh, I think is the the first time uh, first time on uh, on car, let's, let's say. You know, I was uh, I think less than uh, two years old, a small baby with a big dream, and uh, now I'm bigger, but still with red uh, red jumper. So here is um, good memories, kart memories. So all the drivers started with go kart, and you can see that actually my dad was my mechanic. My big supporter, uh, biggest supporter, let's say, you know, without him for sure uh, nothing will happen. So, yeah, big thanks to him. And uh, like I say, he's been always my big fan since, uh, since the picture of before to now. Then here we have uh, Baku. Baku race in uh, GP2 back in 2016. It was my, actually my first victory in, uh, in GP2. It was the victory that changed my career because after that, you know, I had a great result and after that I became an F1 driver. And this for sure was one of my best weekend of my, of my career to win in uh, two races. This is my old teammate, uh, Kimi. Uh, it was a picture actually after his last uh, win in uh, Austin back in 2018. It was like a teacher for me because I was new in that world and he, was, he wasn't new and uh, we had a good memories. I learned a lot from him outside and inside the track. So yeah, a good friend and a good guy. I think uh, so far is my best memory of my career. I crossed the finish line in Le Mans and I was with James, with other, uh, my teammate. And you can see you know, how happy I was. I didn't imagine to win Le Mans with Ferrari, but uh, I take it one of the best races in the world and you can see how emotional I was, so best day of my life. This one actually is quite an old photo than I was at the time of go-kart time. And uh, yeah, honestly, I have a good memory of go-kart. I, I enjoy. Every driver will start, um, basically every driver starts from the go-kart. This was a nice period for myself. It's always a nice memory. And uh, I enjoy the time in the go-kart. Uh, even because at that time, it was, a, it was a bit different than today. My father was my mechanics as well. But uh, actually, I have my nice memory, and uh, I love to look uh, old picture of me on go kart. This was actually is the, the first World Championship uh, when I joined uh, the Ferrari teams in 2017, and uh, we immediately won the, the title with the GTE. Big group of nice people that. Um, a lot of these people are still with me now. The start of the journey for me in Ferrari, and, and it's great to see sometimes. Uh, it's my first Le Mans in uh, 2019. Uh, we took this selfie from the, from the podium with a lot of people behind. Uh, me, Daniel and James, uh, I have a very nice memory of this, this Le Mans. We worked very hard because the year before, we were not competitive at all. And we won the, the, a kind of revenge. We try everything and uh, then uh, we were competitive, finally. We push like, uh, like crazy every race, uh, all the race. I think the better of this year was the, my biggest uh, memory of 24 hours of Le Mans. This one is the, the end of Spa 24 in uh, 2021. I tried to win this race uh, since a long time. Uh, I was close a few times, even at the time of the GT1. Uh, but finally we, we managed to win and we won like a crazy race. At the end I just want to win. I don't care how, so this is uh, what I did. And uh, this one is actually this year, something really special. We did part of the history of Ferrari, it's great. Uh, winning Le Mans after 50 years. Uh, since uh, the last time that uh, Ferrari tried to be there. After one year of work, very hard work for us, uh, for the guys that they work uh, 24 hours seven, I think was the, the end of a nice story. Like, it looks like um, a book, if you can write a book, which is the perfect end. So here was, I think, my second or third ever race. I was nine years old at um, an English car track called Risington. Um, yeah, long time ago, 1999 was the year. Uh, yeah, and uh, it was good times. It was good times because uh, I really enjoyed um, the, the new challenge of, of what motorsport was. And um, yeah, there was no politics, there was no uh, pressure. It was just all about having fun. And uh, I remember it really well. 
So this one was um, a bit later on in my karting years when I was a Tony Kart driver who's, the team is still well associated with Ferrari today and um, it was a race I won. It was good memories because this is the moment where I started to win and um, started to get recognized by, by bigger teams. This has got to be Le Mans, I think. It must be 2019, maybe. With Daniel, I think it was probably the first one. Um, or one of the ones we won, and um, obviously it was uh, an amazing achievement. If it was my first one, then um, yeah, the, I remember the emotion was extremely high, and uh, we couldn't believe it because uh, on paper we didn't think we could win, but, but we managed to do it, and um, it was good memories, and uh, kind of makes me uh, miss the GT cars as well. Yeah, this is um, me and Ali, who we've, we've been together for, for a long time, I think since 2017. So, yeah, one of the wins that, that we've had, one of many, one of the successful races. And uh, you can clearly see on our, on our faces that, that we're happy and, um, yeah, rare to even see Ali smile. Like it, was, uh, it was a good result. And obviously the big one, uh, Le Mans this year with the 499P. Um, I was almost lost for words when we crossed the line and, and won Le Mans outright after so long. And um, what people don't know about this photo is that just after this was taken, we, we turned into the pit lane and, uh, and Joey was hanging off the car in the wrong way. And I actually had to, to save him because he, he was falling off the car and uh, had to grab him. And uh, yeah, that would have been a moment if he'd have fallen off in the pit lane. But um, yeah, that picture says it all. I mean, look at the fans, everyone was there. and. The majority of them were, were Ferrari fans there to see what was a Ferrari win and outright Le Mans race. Great emotion to me.